Hi everybody, this is Shelly from Healing Intentions and this is our full moon forecast for November 6, 2014. So this full moon is about trusting our heart and not allowing our mind to control our movements and the directions that we take in our lives. Now to understand this, this basically means that our heart has our greatest benefit, it has our greatest needs and our desires that allow us to feel fulfilled and whole. So if we listen to our heart, we then become complete. But if we listen to the mind, the mind allows us to fall off track, to second guess, to over evaluate and to overthink, which then creates chaos in our life. So it's not exactly a calm place to be. So really, really listen to your heart this time, okay? Now also too, it's important to remember that at this time with everything shifting as fast as it is, we need to keep our balance and we need to remain centered. And to do that, you need to slow down and breathe. And when you breathe, you actually allow things to occur. You allow the manifestation abilities to create what it is that you desire your life to be. And we've been talking about that for the past year, but that's because there's been an awful lot of homework that we've had to do to be able to move forward, okay? So now you need to really look at what do you value, okay? What do you hold dear in your perception of what you have around you? And when you actually see that clearly, what that ends up doing is it helps you move into the next phase. And the next phase is about really starting to... Um, Follow your dreams, follow your path, knowing and trusting and allowing for things to occur. There's a friend mentioned today to me that, you know, the universe supports you. It just may not be in the way that you planned. And sometimes we're given gifts, sometimes we're given opportunities that we weren't expecting. But they're presented to us because that's how the universe is saying, here's what you asked for. So now it's up to you to actually listen and to take it. So when you do that and you are grateful for the new opportunities that are being presented, then even more comes. And it comes at such a high tide and a greater ability and value for you that it's not hard work. None of it needs to be hard. It really doesn't. It's a matter of standing in your truth, standing in your values, standing in what you hold dear to who you are and what energies you want in your life okay so this period is also forcing us to look at an awful lot of stuff okay from all the way from trust to patience and from surrendering and allowing and all the little arguments that you can have inside of your body of what we have been trained or brought up to think dictates how we should see our lives but in truth if you're standing in your radiance, in your power, in your ability, in your desire of who you are, then you see what it is that you really want, who you are. And with that, then the energies are attracted to you and the windfall is absolutely amazing. Okay? So keep that in your mind. Now, you really need to understand that I know it's not easy to place yourself in an uncomfortable position where you're having to look or evaluate something that you were doing. But by doing it, you then create space for, I want to say, hearing your true self. Okay? So when I was talking to my friend this morning, she mentioned to me that um, when we center ourselves and we try to focus in on our knowing, a lot of people go to their third eye. Now, I've always said that the third eye is the eye of chaos because it actually ends up giving you a hundred different answers or reasons, but it never gives you the truth, okay? And that is because you can't decide when your third eye is activated. Now, if you focus on your center point, which is in the center of your head, which is your pineal gland, okay? What that does is if you allow light to flow through that, all through your chakras and then into the earth chakra, you're then an actual vessel for light and energy. Okay, so that's where our truth comes from. That's where our knowing comes from. Um, she also pointed out that sometimes if you need to feel a shift in energy, sit back to back to someone and, and feel the exchange of energy. And it really does help you recenter and reground. Okay, um, I think it's important for everybody to understand that we need to get outside. We need to be by water. We need to go for walks. We need to surround ourselves with nature because what that does is it allows us to breathe. It creates the atmosphere to breathe. 
okay so and breathing right now is something that we really need to do for ourselves so I know that this time is basically really about standing at what is going to be your truth your radiance your worth your value okay and when you do that then everything starts to shift so take care do a little bit more work but start to enjoy start to envision start to allow yourself to visualize all different possibilities and then allow the universe to provide for you okay because it's not going to be how you think it's actually going to be something greater so i will talk to you soon take care love you lots bye